Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at a 1v5000 in a war called Invasion. So this is actually going to be taking place in Weaver's Fen. My guild, or myself really, uh, you know, does own this territory at the moment. So if we actually go to manage the army, nobody else was on the list, it was just myself. So I, versus everybody else in the Invasion is going to be taking place here in about nine minutes, I believe. So nine minutes, three seconds to prepare for the battle. I do want to show you guys really what invasions like. And a great way to do so is, like I said, a one verse 5,000. So we're going to see that here today. And I'm going to be running nothing special, just a rapier bow. Um, if we actually take a look, you know, I am going to be running pretty much just PVP build. Um, and if we actually take a look into the rapier, you can see that I'm going all the gray side pretty much with a little bit of passes on the left. And then the bow is going, like I said, another PVP build. That is going to be just kind of a mix of everything. I want to, you know, kind of reiterate how this is going to be just a fun, really, test. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to even come close to completing this, considering our fort is also not um, not boosted up at all. I don't know if you guys know that you can boost up your fort as a governor in your, um, in your settlement. You can actually, you know, upgrade your walls, upgrade your defenses, and we have no upgrades. So you can see here there's no defense hard point, really. There's no... Um, really anything for us to defend with we are going to put down a burning oil fat here or burning oil vat here so we can actually test that out um, we can actually see there's more options you can replace structure or use burning oil vat here um, it's just it's going to be very very interesting to see how this plays out and i kind of wanted to give you guys uh, a little bit of a overview of how this is going to play it's very very cool like i said as a governor i'm kind of showing you guys a lot of these new things that you probably didn't know about so here we could actually put it down a repeater if we wanted something over here on this left side we could put down maybe a horn just because i'm not going to be able to cover all these sides right now um so we can throw down a horn, we can throw down whatever we want on all of these uh, different sides and angles. But for the most part, like I said, it's going to be a very, very quick invasion we're going to lose. The good thing, though, is we do get a cash for even losing or just attempting the invasion altogether just by participating. A little bit of a participation reward, and it's okay to have those every once in a while. So that's exactly what we're going to be getting here in a second. These are pretty pointless to be putting up right now because, like I said, we're not going to really be using these turrets. There's no way they give us the opportunity. But I do want to take a look at uh, you know what you can actually buy and how invasions work so you guys can you know get a quick overview of this 1v5000 if we can fall down here here we go and we can see that there is an armory down here and we can buy cleansing elixirs we can buy ammunition kits or inferno traps um I think you guys have seen the Inferno Traps quite a bit probably in past videos. I'm going to go with the ammunition kits. I've never really done too much with the ammo and wanted to kind of give you guys a brief, I guess, look at the, the ammo altogether. We'll also probably try this as well, the Burning Vat. I have actually never used this personally myself. So if we're able to use that, which I don't know if we had to upgrade it previously or not, we'll uh, answer that question here in just a little bit. But it would be great to obviously see the Burning Vat in full force, full throttle. Um, but I guess I'm going to throw in some ammo here when the invasion does start and we'll see what takes place. Like I said, guys, this will probably be a very, very quick invasion and I'm going to skip you guys forward to the actual action now, maybe a minute before, and we'll pick up from there and, uh, we'll see how this really plays out. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. If you haven't already though, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. So now with under a minute left, the invasion is about to start. So they do have, how does invasion work? They have a little quick tips here for you guys. So there is a player 50 requirement level to really participate in the invasion altogether. You have to be level 50. However, once you're level 50, you can sign up and they can put you on board. They do have waves. So the corrupted enemies will attack the fort in waves with each successive wave becoming stronger. They have a win condition. The corrupted army will try to knock down the gates and take a control point within the fort. If players successfully defend the claim point from the invasion, they will win. There's also respawning. So as the war goes on, there will be longer and longer respawn waves. When soldiers are killed, they will respawn in the next respawn wave. Battle tokens as well, like you guys saw how I bought the ammunition munition for these turrets players can earn battle tokens by damaging their enemies with battle tokens players can purchase various items from the armory so now that you guys know what's going on well we are prepared for battle one second left and we are in so we can actually use the turret here and you can see i have 200 shots here on the right side and you can actually see i do a lot of damage with this turret um, and then on the left you can see that there is a bar so if i hold it down for too long 
there will be problems. Here you can see that we ran into an issue of me not being able to shoot underneath this uh, little spot down there. And that wall probably will break very, very quickly. So I'm going to run over there and see if I can throw that oil vat down before it's too late. I am on a U.S. West server, so there may be a little bit of lag there. Um, if we can try this, use burning oil vat, and there it goes. So that's pretty sweet. Um, you can see how it burnt them very, very quickly, and they're all dead. Uh, there is another wave coming, of course, so that could be a problem. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe... These are actually going to be a little bit harder to take out. There's really nothing I can do until this cannon's up. Um, what they're going to try to get to, by the way, is this in the middle. And once they kill it, the game is over. We're going to toss that down one more time, and we'll try to defend this as long as possible. But we're already having problems on both sides of the... <laughs> as you can see, they broke in on the right side, obviously. And then they have a cannon <laughs> shooting some flying cows in. And this is how we lose right here. I might as well jump down there and have some fun myself. Um, let's go for it. So we're in the mix of it. We're going in. Uh, we're actually doing a lot of damage to them. You know, the rapier is pretty strong, and I'm level 60, and these are, you know, the first wave. So I will be doing some good damage, but uh, I'm not going to waste any pots or anything. Like I said, there's pretty much no chance of me doing anything successful here um, besides maybe getting, hopefully, a good cash. But that obviously is going to be a quick understanding of how this works. You're not going to see too much high-level stuff here, but, uh, you know, that's... Like I said, not going to use a potion, so I'm going to try to stick to that. It's going to be very hard to just let myself die, but there it is. So they are going to probably take the fort right here as I'm dead. And you can see there, a very, very quick defeat. Um, but, you know, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Having, obviously, like I said, a lot of players involved with that could be a very, very fun time. You can see I got 630 gold, a lot of Marauder's Reputation, uh, a lot of Standing, as well as Azoth. So I also get this Invasion Cash for level 60 so it could require or you know could give some great great loot as we have this uh, really kind of countdown here i do believe there's a stats page there definitely is a stats page for war kind of forget if there is for an invasion let's see what happens here there is a stats page so i killed 26 of them five assists i'm not sure how i would get an assist maybe the burning vat maybe doesn't count as a kill but uh for the event score 5512 obviously not a great score you can see the performance as well and you can also see the rankings just like war so uh obviously there was a defeat there we can actually hit continue and it says i left the group and uh f3 to fish of course every time it seems like that does take place but let's take a look at what i get in this cache so it's actually a blue invasion cache level 60 and i actually get a purple shield that's pretty sweet a purple tier 5 shield Plus 8 dexterity, plus 4 focus, nothing great there. But it is a tier 5, 500 gear score. So that's very, very cool to see that coming out. Um, you know, I would do wish, obviously, it being a 600 gear score, as that is the max. But it is cool, like I said, to see a tier 5 blue, or sorry, tier 5 purple coming out and about. That is about all I want to show you guys today. Just a quick, like I said, uh, understanding of how invasions work. And a quick, really, like I said, one hunt, or I guess really a one versus one, uh, 5,000. And you can also see there's an oil supply chart or cart here for you guys that didn't know that. If you own the territory, there's always going to be a place like that. Either, you know, lumber, hide, um, you know, there's a bunch of them. I, I believe, I think honey is one of them. Uh, no, I actually think there's hide there at Everfall. Not just lumber, but, or not just hide. But you can get little, little, uh, I guess, supply carts like that anywhere in any settlement so they have all specific types of resources that you get here you get oil and you saw that right there but you know just a fun way to kind of show you guys what invasions is like very very quick obviously but also kind of an understanding of how the governor has control of certain things you know whether it be the army itself whether it be the actual turrets whether it be um you know providing what kind of upgrades i want if you actually go to the town project board you can see right now we are actually working on top right you can see upgrade gates to tier two so that's the next thing we're working on right now obviously nobody's done anything yet with it but that is in the future so hopefully we continue on this path to success and uh, i'm excited for new world obviously now that we are able to play the game a lot of us excited and wanting to see new content so if you want to learn more about new world as a governor as a really company lead make sure to quickly like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on thank you guys again for tuning in i'll see you in the next one